Oh, hold on, YouTube. Typical. This lens is dirty. Hey, YouTube Diesel Dan Peters here. So, I don't know what I'm doing anymore with my life. Uh, sold off a bunch of my things, stuff that I haven't really even told you guys about. Uh, I sold off the red Honda 400 EX I had. I'm actually selling my other ATV as well. Um, selling my F350 from years ago. Uh, selling off a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to prioritize what I really like in life, what I really enjoy doing. And one thing I stumbled upon this year was boating. Uh, I got a 2002 Bayliner, and I love me and my wife. We both love every minute on that boat. I apologize for the noise, by the way. I don't have a microphone, so let these vehicles go by. Uh, and me and my wife both agreed that we were looking for something a little bit bigger where we could spend the night or two out on the bay um, and, you know, bring the dogs out, something big enough. And it could be a little bit of a project, but nothing crazy. I didn't want to do any engine work like I've been seeing. A lot of, a lot of boats need new engines, transoms. Uh, well, <laughs> so last night I, uh, I got a call from a boat that I was looking at and really nice couple um, husband's in the Navy and he was like look if you can make it out tonight I'll be here and sure enough he made it work so without further ado without any more suspense y'all ready to see this this is my 1994 I think it's called Chaparral Chaparral 250 uh, 2550SX. It is a nearly 26 foot boat. It's going to do a walk around so you all can kind of see it. Um, see what this little background, by the way, because I sold so many of my projects off, I'm basically down to just the Miata and this now. For projects and some other housework but none of that can really be videoed um, so and I say it's a project because it's it's mainly interior that'll need to be replaced overall uh, like the fiberglass is great on this boat um, doesn't really need any patchwork or anything never had bottom paint which is so hard to find you know a lot of most of these boats have bottom paint and you don't know what they're hiding underneath all that trailer is in great condition but I part of the project is the trailer will be getting electric brakes because god it is not easy towing with a 1500 straps are loose I retighten certain things so I guess we'll just get up here and I'll show you all the what it looks like now and by I would give it about seven, eight months. By March or April of next year, this thing will be basically brand new in here. All right, this is it. This is the boat. Um, trying to think of some stuff that he told me that was done. So it has a brand new 502 cubic inch uh, V8. It's a 454, I'm assuming at least, that's bored out. I don't know if that's, 30 or 40 over i mean that's it's a pretty big boring uh boring hey <laughs> dead joke sorry um uh, so this pops out got the bimini top which is nice i already started doing a little, very little bit of work i got the tint off one window so far um the tint unfortunately is completely shot so i'm gonna be i don't know if i'm gonna put tint back on honestly i kind of like it without tint but maybe i'll put tint i don't know um, like I said, interior is the biggest part with this boat. Um, I'm going to see if I can shine this up. I don't know if I can. I don't know if it's just mold that's on it or if these seats do need to be replaced. Uh, I'm probably looking at about, for the two front seats here, like three, 400 bucks for the pair. And cushions, me and my wife, my wife already agreed. She wants to do a little project with me. I really hope you all can hear me because... I didn't realize how busy it was going to be this morning. Um, 
So here it is. It's a 454 originally, but it's a 502 uh, bored out. Uh, it's a crate motor. Uh, it's got cutouts for the exhaust, which is, this thing is just nasty. Uh, I heard it running yesterday when I went to pick it up. And uh, it runs superb. You can balance a penny on top of this motor and it does not move at all. This motor doesn't flex when you rev it up. And that is exactly what I was looking for. Something that was turnkey, didn't have to worry about the motor. Transom is good to go, fluids were all changed. It's just down to the interior, which is not bad. Let me just see who it was. Who's calling me up here? Yeah. Oh. oh, my sister called me. That's cool. Anyway, I'll respond to everybody in a minute. So here's the front of the boat. Again, the fiberglass is in superb condition. You can even still see the shine over here and it is a 94 so you know i was not expecting a perfect boat but man it is in really good condition you all can see the interior i kind of have cushions just thrown everywhere um me and my wife do plan on doing a project together like i said so we will be replacing every cushion in here we're going to get rid of this flowering stuff that's in here um at least most of it um has a refrigerator refrigerator doesn't seem to work so i'm probably going to replace this um maybe i'll put a mini fridge underneath maybe even one that just is bolted over here i don't know i'm going to find a way to make something work we got a little bathroom over here it's like a little porta potty which is perfect i just need something where if we're out for two three days you know even though we might be disgusting together or whatever uh, we will be still having fun when I say disgusting, I hate not showering within a day. That is the only thing that I didn't like about this boat is it doesn't have a shower. But every other boat I saw just needed way more work. It was like either transom work or uh, just a bunch of different things that I was not willing to do. Um, I could do it, obviously. But this is way more of a together kind of boat, if, if you all catch my drift. Um, I'll be able to set up like a little TV there or maybe one over here. I don't know. Again, I uh, still have yet to really explore what I want to do with this boat. Um, like I said, all this really needs to be cleaned. As you can see, there's some mold in here. You know, it's been sitting for about a year. Um, you got your little sink, you got your little stove. Um, I'm going to be putting in a full radio in here, of course. Everyone knows how big I am with radios. If it doesn't have a radio, don't even come up to me, you know, trying to sell it. But this is a different case because I will be putting a full stereo in here with an amp. Probably a subwoofer too. Uh, nothing super crazy, but crazy enough that I really enjoy it. Um, uh, certain stuff like the cubbies i'll probably be doing some patchwork and fixing on i can tell certain stuff was already fixed um the biggest thing for me was no soft spots anywhere um it's a solid boat and uh it is really hard to find a somewhat even close to comparable boat to this for the price i paid um uh, i told my wife look if we even put three or four thousand total into this uh, we'll have probably about a twenty twenty five thousand dollar boat because of all the work that was already done and to me it's more worth it to get it like that versus paying the full 20 up front or 25 for the same boat that we're still going to want to customize and improve ourselves anyway so like i said this this is basically one big bed over here you know this table goes down and it becomes a bed um just a lot of potential with this boat and that's probably the biggest reason I wanted it. Um, I could have got a slightly smaller boat with no bathroom like I have right now. I was like, why would I do that? Since the whole reason I was looking for another boat, besides getting something we could actually stay out on the water longer with, uh, was for the bathroom. Need a bathroom. Uh, there's nothing worse than when you're out and you have to pull in to the, to the dock and, you know, 
use the bathroom really fast, run out, or you have to stop, you have to buy some food from them or whatever, you know. Uh, let's see, so we'll keep showing. I, I'm doing like a storytelling time over here, if you like, but really beautiful boat. Um, video's not gonna do it justice, I'm sure. Like I said, all this is gonna get nice and steam cleaned. I'm not gonna replace any of this as long as it still looks good after I uh, uh, use the, uh, I forget what kind of vacuum that is with the water and the soap and all that. It's like a steam clean, essentially vacuum that I have. I'm going to go over this entire top and do. Uh, again, the seats. Hoping. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know that they go down like that. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, it's a very custom boat. Everything seems to pretty much work on it. Got your fans. Bunch of random stuff here. Oh, there's your horn. Oh, so I guess it has two fuel tanks? Is that what that is? Or does it just give power to the gauges? Huh. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the windshield wiper. I already learned that one. We got this, which is the front light. One of the lights are out, but we're going to work on it. This. I don't remember what it does, but... Everything works, even down to this, which this is definitely getting replaced. I'm gonna get a touchscreen um, set up over here, probably a garment of some sort. Um, steering wheel is pretty tight. Really cool shifting setup. So this is for drive, and you got reverse, neutral, and this is straight up throttle over here. See, so you go like that, and that's your throttle. You're up, down. And uh, I think I showed just about everything on here. Like I said, it's a very clean boat. Just some of the cushions, unfortunately, do need to be replaced, like you said. It's a 94, so I, certain stuff like this I kind of expected to get redone. Um, I'm going to see if someone nearby can do it, because if they can, I'll probably piece by piece uh, send each piece off to them and do it. Or I'll just do it myself like I've done in the past. I've gotten pretty good with interior work, so uh, I, I think for the, the price I paid, it was definitely a steal. Um, you definitely can't find these boats for what I paid for it, so I think that's about it. Like I said, stereos, interior, everything else is good though. It runs and drives great. Um, doesn't need anything else. They, oh, it does need a cover though, a new, new cover. That's what I was told. So I'll probably have the canvas sent out and redone. And like I said, certain stuff like this, you know, they put like, it's just little stuff here and there that I really gotta just buckle down and mess with. But I'm excited, YouTube. I hope you all are too. Uh, kind of changing the course of my channel from working on cars all the time the boats a little bit so and we'll go back and forth i'll always have a car project um mustang still needs ac before i'm able to drive it in this humid heat that's over here definitely not used to this at all but stay tuned youtube uh without further ado that's all i got diesel dan peters signing out for now